All right, guys, today we're in a 2001 Mercedes CLK 55 AMG. Um, we just installed the NFIG D2B aux. Uh, what an NFIG D2B aux is, is a, uh, it's actually a Denshin D2B uh, USB adapter, and we actually manufactured an auxiliary input for it. So, um, let me see. Uh, you go in here, this is the aux cable. It comes with the aux cable. No need to buy a separate cable. All right, so plug it into the bottom port. All right, full control. From here, no control from the radio because um, it's an aux input. All right, so unplug it. All right, now it also has a USB port. Uh, you cannot you hook up an iPod through here, uh, only a USB stick. All right, so we're going to plug that in. All right, and what it does, it goes through your music in, 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 uh, in order. All right, so you see, track up from the radio. Should've worked. <laughs> track out from the radio. You also get track out from the steering wheel controls. All right, that's pretty much it. All right, now we're gonna unplug this. Now, the unit does not come with an iPod cable. An iPod cable is an additional accessory. All right, so if you want an iPhone 5. Okay. Control from here, control from here. I mean, uh, iPhone 4 or a regular, oh, sorry, what did I just do? I had to tape on my mistake. All right. Um, if you have an iPhone 5, um, buy the Apple adapter. Uh, currently, there are aftermarket adapters, but they only work for charging. The Apple one is the only one that works. Check the website because once an aftermarket one comes out, we will offer it. We also sell the Apple one on the website as well. All right. So plug this in. All right. Just like I just showed you. Track up. Once upon a time. All right. Also from the steering wheel controls. You can go back and forward. All right. Um, the numbers here don't coincide with the numbers there. Um, it has one-way communication. Um, it does do a pretty good job, though. So if we're at 7 or 42, let's go up uh, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, I went a little more, but like I said, it doesn't. It doesn't. They don't coincide, so it's it's one-way commands because if you if if they match up, what's going to happen? It's going to be slower. So all those companies that that match up the number to here, that's really cute. But I'd rather have a quick interface than something slow that matches numbers for no reason whatsoever. Um, all right. So what else? If you have Pandora or something like that, you could click on the Pandora. Uh, let's do some Metallica today. Okay. Go up. I can't do the music because I have the, uh, you know, for music copyrights reasons. Um, another thing also, um, if you're back on the iPod. All right. When you turn off the radio, it will pause. And when you turn it back on, it will unpause. All right. Um, what else do we got on here? That's pretty much it. Oh, I completely forgot. As far as the auxiliary, this is a cool little feature. Pause that. Um... So, if you if you get a phone call, you can actually use the head, the head, the headset jack as a, as like a, you know to do call audio. Oh, you know what? You have to actually unplug the iPod. The since the aux only works with the iPod unplugged. Let's send that again. Try that one more time. <laughs> All right. So what you can do, you can use a headset to make phone calls, but you actually have to speak into the iPhone. Okay. So that's another feature of the of of any auxiliary, but you know it's a nice feature to have in a car, especially like I know this car. I don't think it has Bluetooth. So, but uh, anyway, yeah. That's pretty much it. That's an Enfig D2B aux. Uh, like we said, it's a Dengen unit plus the Enfig aux input sold as a kit. Um, we ship worldwide. We also uh, sell to dealers. We sell and install at our location. We also sell to dealers. So if you're a dealer and want to buy the aux, we can sell it to you. And uh, that's pretty much it. Video is brought to you by EnfigCarStale.com. We sell and install and we also ship worldwide. Thanks for watching.